our next set of questions we actually got from uh, Lee from the Essential Gamer. Lee did the Lee! Uh, Turtles trilogy with us, uh, oh, which was man, a great so time. Um, but he asked three. He gave us three questions to ask, and the first one might be a little bit hard for me, but I'm going to more or less give it to you because um, oh, I think I'm going to keep it simple. It might be the same answer, but yeah. It, first, let's just start with the top one. If you could change one thing about the city area you live in, what would it be? So, oh my God. What, just less crime and gunshots. Yeah. That's all. I, I, that, Everything that's is kind of my answer perfect. right there. <laughs> Maybe it's just less less gunshots. I know you well where you live. Like is you know the crackheads also got like it. That. It's, yeah. it's got crackheads. I have crackheads of a different that, sort. This is true. Um, you know, but my area where I live, I'm okay with. Uh, people hate this. Like there is such loud music all the time. Um, especially when it gets nice out. Like nice out, it's like there's block parties everywhere and shit like that. Um, and that pisses a lot of people off. It does not piss me off. It just makes it so that I can nobody will notice what I'm doing because there's like all these distractions. And mm. then there's also fireworks all the time for anything. There's yeah, fireworks that, that, constantly. That, that would probably get on my nerves. Um, no, it's where we me. live, like you know, in this area, it's not bad because of where we're at because of the border. But I'm if I'm oh, looking at, at Manchester, if I'm good. looking at Manchester as a whole, yeah, you know. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I worked down Mammoth Road at that CVS at one time, and yeah, I mean, the drunks, everything, the, the like you said, the crackheads. Oh, no, Manchester just like, is fucked up, dude. Yeah, I, it would just, you know, if there's Manchester one thing, scares just, me more than where I live. You know, I, I kind of agree with you. I, I didn't mind working in Lawrence. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, yes, there was some moments, but uh, overall, but either way, like, if I guess if I had to choose one thing, just to have the city cleaned up, but... I don't think it ever will. So let's go to a more fun or a couple, you know, funner questions, more fun questions. And I, it's funny because what's your dream cinema snack? We recently talked about this. We did. Uh, we did. You and probably know my, mine. I, well, you know mine, and I'm going to start because mine's simple. I don't like to eat. I don't get how people, unless you're at like a Chunkies and you're sitting down and eating dinner, but I don't get how people can eat like nachos and like hot dogs while watching a movie. You know, you're in that just a regular theater seat. I'm good with just a freaking bag of popcorn and a soda. You know, if I had to choose a box candy, maybe milk duds, but like popcorn, soda, milk I'm happy. And I know, I know you're not, if I had to choose a box candy, because I, you know, there's a lot of them. I just, I don't know. I, I, there was a time I really loved milk duds. I just haven't had it in a long time, but that's it. I know you're not a popcorn person. That was our whole dis I'm discussion, not, but, no. but it, that's it. And the, my popcorn is pretty much gone by the trailers. You know, I'm just there eating it as bored. I love it. God, it gives me well, good, it takes you an know, hour to get to the trailers. So, you, know, you know, just, it, it puts me in a happy place, you know, just back yeah. as a kid and, you know, give me the butter. I don't even care. That's it. It's a boring dream cinema snack. It's pretty much what I get. And I know it's expensive nowadays, but I don't, I don't usually just, that's it. I don't need a lot of other things at, you know, the movie theaters, unless it's a special, you know, like I said, Chunky's where you're sitting down, having a dinner, watching a theater, you know, watching a movie. Um, but yeah. yeah, if it's a basic movie theater, I, I, I don't like holding uh, too much stuff. So popcorn, soda, soda, I'm in. That's me. What's your uh, dream cinema snack or favorite yeah, cinema Yeah, I mean, snack? Uh, I've, I think I've talked about it before, but yeah, I do lean towards like uh, nachos. and I mean, Not like loaded nachos, okay? Like I make at home. Mm -hmm. um, but just some tortilla chips and and some nuclear looking cheese um you know that like really bright yellow cheese and, and it's nice and warm and you know and i'm good my snack does never last to the movie uh no. so usually where i switch to box candy which my first box candy go to is always sour patch kids and i don't know if this is true or not but i swear to god man sour patch kids were way more sour when i was a little kid uh, and I was going to the movies. I don't know what. They're, like, way more sweet now. And I'm not a big fan of that. I like hmm. when I eat Sour Patch Kids and my mouth feels like it's got 18 gajillion razor blade cuts in it. Um, <laughs> that's how I know it's quality. Uh, and then I wash that all down with, like, liquid sugar uh, in the form of a root beer or a Coke or anything like that. Like, that's, like, you know, what I do during the movie. But those are my snacks. If I do chocolate, which is very rare... Um, although I've been doing a lot more recently, probably say something like goobers or peanut M&Ms yeah. just yeah, because yeah. I like nuts in my chocolate. Um, so yeah, but, but number one, definitely nachos and cheese for sure. Yeah. That is just, I, I saw lawnmower man eating nachos and cheese in the theater for God's <laughs> sakes. 
Yeah, I, 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 sure. That's one. Thing, like I said, I, I just feel like it's such a mess. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I love, I love nachos. I love just chips and cheese. But at a theater, I don't think. Of course you do. It, it, well, who doesn't? If done right. Well, I mean, but like at I home just, though, you're gonna eat nachos while watching. That's what I'm movie, saying. Yeah. At home, I'm just talking about sitting down in that movie theater having just nachos. I don't know. Yeah, Dude, these theaters my... are like being at home now. Like they have like reclining seats and shit like that. Oh, like. Geez. You know, every theater I go to now, and I go to the one at, at the Loop here, uh, it's like, first of all, you reserve your seats on a phone, like through Fandango. Most places like, are that, want, like that now, yeah. You're like, I want these two middle seats, and then you just go there. And then you get there, and it's like, you can take the middle, like, arm up, and you can really recline it how you want. And it's like, there's so much room in between you and the row before you. It's like, you don't even know that people are really around you and stuff. You know, back when we were younger, it was just... The movie theater theater was just like a bunch of rows of seats, and they were all the same level. And if somebody was sitting in front of you, well, guess what? They were just sitting in front of you. Like that's just how it was. Uh, there wasn't like the luxuries of like spacing out or anything like that we have now. But so it's a, it's a lot more easier, I guess, for me to say that you can. I, I don't really like Chunkies that much. I think Chunkies is way more distracting as a movie. Like if I'm going to Chunkies, I'm gonna watch something that I'm not really gonna care too much about because. I'm really going to be focused on getting pitchers of beer, which I remember they're having pitchers of beer, uh, and then has somebody coming up and whispering the order to me, and then me looking at the bill and realizing it's like eighty to hundred dollars, like for the food that I just bought. That's yeah. my rant. No, I agree. Chunkies. No, I agree with you. If it's a movie I want to pay attention to. Usually, it was always a theater. Chunkies is just, you know, and the food can be hit or miss too. But like I said, it's oh, more of course, depending on the movie it can just be a fun experience. I know we went to see Captain Marvel there, but. Um, last question uh, from Lee. You're in a fight with the last video game character you controlled. Will you win? It's funny you brought up Cloud. I am playing Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, so any of those Final Fantasy VII <laughs> characters, even Kate Sith, is gonna. Maybe I have a chance against that stupid cat, but it knows magic. So no, I don't. I don't. I, I'm dying. <laughs> I am getting killed instantly. Cloud with his big fucking Buster Sword is just gonna chop my head off. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not winning. But, you know, I'm dead. I admit it. I concede defeat. So yeah, I'm playing Rebirth right now. I'm not winning. What about you? I am. I am so lucky in this in this question because I'm currently playing Disco Elysium and my main character is like a burnt out alcoholic who's trying to solve a crime and can barely even walk down the street without damaging his back. Uh, and I could absolutely beat, uh, and this is going to be a spoiler, Harry. And the reason it's a spoiler is because you kind of find out your name. Cause like you wake up like without a memory cause you've had like a drunken binge and then you have to like piece together like, Where's your badge? What did you do with your badge last night? What did you do with your fucking gun? And oh, where's the car? Where's your police car at? Where did you leave it last night when you were blackout drunk? Uh, so if I had to fight Harry, I would absolutely win because I've seen him get knocked out. Um, and he like he'll he'll just get damaged by morale too. So if he's sad or something sad happens, his health bar will go down. So I know for a fact that I could beat Harrier Dubois in a fight if I had to right now. And I'm very happy about that because if I had chosen V, I would absolutely die. So, Soto, I'm giving you this question because I already know this answer and I'm going <laughs> to, you know why I'm giving you this first. This is the funniest <laughs> fucking thing in the world. Because oh, I know how no. you are with directions and it's why I'm going to have the answer first. <laughs> how is driving without a GPS? So, oh, man. how is driving? <laughs> what, what did you do in the days before GPS? <laughs> Well, there were. Let me tell you, there's one of two ways that I do this. One is I would. Uh, there was this place called MapQuest. I don't even know if it's still around. And I would, if I was going to go somewhere new that I did not know about, I would print up the directions from MapQuest, which would be like I don't know, like three to four pages, and bring that with me in my car, and then drive from MapQuest on my car, like just while holding it and driving, and being like, okay, the next turn is going to be this. And just kind of hoping and praying that I would get there. Or the second way of doing this, which was the more like ridiculous way of how I lived my life, was I would just kind of go by feeling um, and what I thought I was. So I have no spatial awareness of where I usually am in reality. And so this is best demonstrated on uh, how I tried to get to. We have a music park over here called Canopy Lake. I live 20 minutes away from Canopy Lake. And when I was taking my wife on one of our first like dates 
to Canopy Lake, um, I decided to just kind of wing it. And when I winged it, she was like, oh, no, it's that way. And I said, no, it feels like it's this way. Okay. It took me two hours to get to Canopy Lake. Canopy Lake is only 20 minutes away. It's probably an exit up. But for some reason in my mind, I kept feeling like it was north of where I was. So I kept going north. And so I passed it way, way, way long time ago. By the time I got there, it was closed. That is just one example of how... I just am when it comes to driving. It's like a neurodivergency thing. I am so grateful for GPS now because I can get to places on the times that I mean to get there. Because before then, honestly, I've done circles in Boston and I could not figure out how to get out of Boston to the point where I had a panic attack because I was I thought I was going to have to live forever in my car in Boston because I couldn't get out. So life was very scary for me uh, before, <laughs> before GPS. GPS. And scary for the people that I love because these people have to be around me and they don't understand that I have a mental disability that prevents me from understanding what direction I am going in. So, yeah, my answer is the same as you because I started driving. When I started driving, the Internet was just becoming a thing. I mean, more so in households. And, yes, I went to MapQuest. That's exactly my answer. I printed up step by step. I've driven from Minnesota to New Hampshire and back. And I have, you know, not, you know those directions decided. It's like, okay, when I get to Ohio, I need to make sure I find this. or Whatever steps there were. Um, for people before that time, you just had hardcore maps. You know, just plain and simple maps. And you just in your head, you're like, all right, right here, left here. Thank God. Thank God freaking god for gps though it's so easy i mean yes. thank you like i said I and mean, it's on your cell phone oh it is on your cell phone you know no matter what you know you can just plug it in give directions and you're gone so i just know how bad you are with directions i'm not saying i'm great i just don't think oh, i wing no. it if i don't know where i'm going i'm like i don't care i don't even care if i've been to here sometimes when i go to my mom's house i'm like oh it's been a few months let me just make sure i don't miss the turn and i'll still plug that in um but yes, thank God there is a GPS for me. So Well, Chad, like, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi told me to use the Force, okay? And so... Soto, we're not in this I'm going to use That's the not real. Force, okay? <laughs> right. I'm going to trust my gut. I'm trust my... Yeah, well, the, the point is that, yes, I'm not in simulation. So when I use the Force, it doesn't actually work at all. I end up nowhere near where I was supposed to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not good. Don't use the Force when you don't know where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> 